blockchain whenever you hear the word blockchain you all start thinking about bitcoins and other cryptocurrencies but in reality the bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are just a small part of blockchain in simple words blockchain does indeed serve as a platform for cryptocurrencies without blockchain there would be no bitcoin and in today's video i am going to explain you the blockchain in a very simple format so let's start let's assume that there are two people amit and himanshu amit borrows some money from himanshu and himanshu write it down on a piece of paper signed by amit after some days amit deny uh, the existence of such document and claim that himanshu has forgot that piece of paper himanshu would now find it very difficult to prove that amit had borrowed some money from him in this example amit and himanshu are two notes now assume the same scenario but among a society so there are k pair of people transacting with each other and the only proof that each pair has is that piece of paper looking at this scenario one person shivani came up with a solution she suggest maintaining a common notebook of the transaction for the entire society she designate town hall to be the place where every exchange take place in the common notebook every pair write the transaction and then the notebook is kept safely pupil rejoice and accept shivani as their leader the notebook can be called as a database in this example but one day somebody spills a cold drink on the notebook this make the notebook illegible taking the advantage of this situation amit again deny taking money from himanshu this is the problem database face single point of failure created by this problem shivani came up with another solution she suggest maintaining multiple notebooks she chooses some uh, trustworthy people from the society and give them a notebook each now every time a transaction or exchange take place between two people shivani instruct some of those trustworthy people to maintain the transaction in their notebook so the data is repeated in the uh, notebooks now even if one notebook is destroyed chances are that all the data regarding transaction are still present in the combination of other notebooks this is a distributed database and multiple notebooks are the multiple nodes but next day another problem arise shivani has a friend named nikita who borrowed a lot of money to some people in the society she asked shivani for help and she agreed to help her she instruct all the people with the notebook to remove the entries where nikita received money now nikita doesn't owns any money based on the notebook this is the problem with distributed database they are centralized that means one single entry owns all the nodes resources and can make changes as they deem fit when the people from the society came to know of it they removed shivani from the leadership now they decided to keep notebook each every time a transaction is made between any two people all the people from the town come together and mention it in their respective notebook so if there are n people in the society then there are n notebooks and no one person control the overall representation of the transaction this is decentralization they also decided to never remove or delete an already mentioned transaction from the notebook this is immutability now when another group of people from the society let's call them c try to change a record in their notebook all the other people also need to make the same changes as i mentioned previously all the people write all the transaction in their notebook before writing the transaction proposed by group c all the other people notice that the transaction is not correct so they come to realize that c is trying to make a fraud transaction has they denied that transaction and not mention it in their notebook they also decided to banish the group c from further participating in the group this, this is how consensus is formed and voting is done to decide validity of a transaction in a blockchain now someone suggests that the transaction from a chain so they decided to call the collective set of fully replicated decentralized immutable notebooks as blockchain well this is the easiest example i can think of to explain blockchain I tried my best to explain blockchain in a story format. I hope now it make clear to you. 
so that's all for now hope you guys like this video and if you want to know more about blockchain then you can buy this awesome ebook by team nikis uh, link is given in the description now for more such amazing content make sure you subscribe to nikis and thanks for watching this video bye for now meet you in the next video